I want to be number one in the world, obviously, but uh, that's that's my biggest goal. I got to the finals a lot with TDOS. It's a, one of the big 14 in the tournament. I uh, won one of the Super Nationals gold balls and doubles when I was nine. I also won the Orange Bowl when I was 11. I want to be number one in the world. I mean, I've always been the person who who just wanted to be the top, and that's just the way I am. And my brother is the same way. My first tournament was when I was five. And when I was eight, I won the national nines. And so that was the biggest national tournament I'd won at the time. And then I kind of progressed up to grade A's and ones and twos. And then uh, I won the Osaka Mayor's Cup in Japan when I was 15, so last year. I guess uh, I haven't won the first pro title yet, but that's what we're going for. Ryan reached the point in the last year where there just weren't enough good players to work out with. And this place has the best players in the world. Nick talked to us about coming here, so that kind of, I thought this would be a better fit for my kids all the way around. We've sort of hit a, a double win there. We, we've got a great coach. He brought his two sons with us, so that's a great scenario there. We do a bunch of lunges, a bunch of pull-ups, and like, like intense stretching exercises. The younger athletes, that we need to stress more the flexibility and the mobility because of the age, like a Christian's age, like 14 years old, is growing so fast. So which means the bones are you know, growing faster than the muscles. So usually the age between 13 to 17, 18, then they lose a lot of flexibility. The lack of flexibility is gonna limit their performance on the court. But get to see the movement. Good. So he was the youngest one. He's a, the lightest athlete that so we ever trained in that group, particularly like athlete group. But now he's up to like 100 pounds. I feel like I've gotten faster and a little bit stronger, and I've actually gained a little bit more weight. So that's good. <laughs> Well, I had a lower back injury and ended up having to take some time off, but we're you know, in the process of getting it back to 100%. When I first evaluated Ryan, he was actually in a hard brace, a hard cast that went from here down to his low back. Um, and he had to wear that 24 hours a day, 23 hours a day. Good. Control it coming out. I mean, Graham's been, been great. I mean, he's been more than you can, you can ask for as far as a physician goes or a physical therapist. He had uh, basically what you would call a stress fracture in his low back. So you gotta be very careful with loading, any loading activities or twisting and turning, rotational activities. It's mainly stabilization work that we do and everything's kind of paying attention to strengthening and, and uh, stabilizing the core. We want him to be able to withstand the forces that tennis requires, so we need to be able to make sure his strength and his flexibility can, can handle that. Right now, the initial plan for the first tournament um, is probably March. I'm not having any, any pains right now, so that's, that's the main thing that we're looking at. 